Time out. Is this what episode is this again? <sighs> Welcome. Oh, you, oh, we got the go ahead? I didn't see the go ahead. <laughs> Welcome to episode nine of The Jersey Boys. Hey, everybody, this is Ronnie A. Here with the one and only Joey the Rash Silva. Wow. How was These that intros you? are getting better and better with every episode. I've been working on it. I've been I, working I can on tell. It. You're you, like buddy. a professional. You Thank really you. are. I'm just I'm so... I'm thinking about a career change. Alex, aren't we blessed to be in this guy's presence? <laughs> the producer. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Behind the scenes, but he's always number one in our hearts, this That's guy. right. That's right. I like Him that. and Amy, I don't know who's uh, more valuable. Well, well, it's funny you say that, Amy, because Amy is the president. And as we all, well, I don't know if we all learned this or not, but, you know, last week's show yep. was East Coast Athletics, right? Overdrive training with none other than Johnny VP Valenti. Johnny, so you are the official vice president of the fan club of the Jersey Boys. <laughs> he really is. He really he is. is. I'm man. telling you. He is. Then I'm listen, telling you. I'm telling you. But no matter what, ism. Start counting. Count, count, count. <laughs> how many times am I going to say that? And no matter, no matter how much Johnny V loves us, we love him too. Johnny V P Valenti. That's it. Your new nickname here. Uh, you can't overtake Amy's position. Right. But uh, you know, yeah. great show last week. We had an unbelievable time with uh, with John and and Darren Ayurado and the guys over there and. Uh, just, just an amazing yeah. facility. So it really, uh, really is. Yeah. Very impressed. If anybody, if you did not listen to episode eight, please go back and listen to it. It really was a great time. And don't forget, it was the first one that we did video on. Yeah. So check us out on YouTube now. How do we look on video? Do we look pretty good? Uh, so good. The, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can <laughs> shop that out. It's crazy. So last week's wow. Now, last week's wow was uh, given to us, right? Did who? who By uh, Johnny. Johnny. Johnny VP. VP. Johnny VP. And we had to ask one of the girls there because her parents are off the boat from Italy. And this is a very important word over there, right? That was Alessia. And Alessia, we had to talk about what this is. Joe, spell it out for everybody. That would be C-A-P-O-Z-E-L-L-E. Capozzo. And what the heck is that? Capuzzo. Come on. Uh, People out there, do they know what that is? Most of you guys, I'll tell you right now. I mean, I guess if you're a Jersey Italian, you probably know what Capuzzo is. You've seen it. As a little kid, you ran out of the room screaming, crying, because you thought something just got slaughtered. And, well, it did, and it ended up on the, you know, the dining room table. Eyeball and all. Lamb's head. Any sheep's neighborhood. Head, any neighborhood in northeast Jersey. In Jersey, you go into the meat market. And you see this all the time. No doubt. Yeah. No doububt. And hey, listen, our Italian neighborhoods in in, uh, in the boroughs too. I'm sure oh, the Brooklyn, Capitol was York, flying oh, like crazy. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. So even even in the the Portuguese, the German, the Colombian, right, Alex? They're still hanging in there too because <laughs> you know it's all around in this area. Tell you, there's some crazy foods out there, but uh, you so, know. Tell them what it is. Capuzzo, sheep's head, lamb's head, eyeball and all, man. It's a full-blown delicacy. Uh, my uh, Todd, Todd Lawback, loves it. Oh, yeah. Like, he's into it, man. I, me, personally, I got to tell you. Ah, turn the other Not way. Not me. No, no way. No way. No way. It's crazy, man. It's kind of like, you know, we got Christmas coming up. It's like Christmas Eve, bro. Oh, yeah. Right? All the fish that they used to do. My father, I mean, you hear the stories. There was a live eel in the bathtub on Christmas Eve. So mm. this thing was live, then boom, kill it, skin it, do whatever. That, crazy. <laughs> What's in this the bathtub? No joke, man. What's in the old turlet? <laughs> <laughs> He's always got to go. He loves the word turlet. There you he go. loves Archie it. Bunker, baby. <laughs> so, uh, again, I said, uh, you know, as a reminder, everybody, go back and listen to episode eight. Uh, we like to remind everybody on every show how to find us, right? Stitcher, iTunes, Podbean, Google Play. You can go to our website, www www.thejerseyboys.com D-A jerseyboys.com Check us out and the other thing we like to do is we like to hear from everybody so you could call us at 973-513-7165 once again 973-513-7165 you could also send an email at info at 
thejerseyboys.com. Don't forget, that's with a D, thejerseyboys.com. And, uh, you know, speaking of emails and phone calls, Joe, we've been getting a lot of feedback from a lot of people, whether it be ideas or just, you know, comments because yeah. they like the show. And we had a we had a pretty cool one come in now, right? Yeah, well, you know, it, it is so encouraging because, you know, uh, especially Alex, he could, you know, attest to this because he put so much time into this behind the scenes. And, you know, we have made a, a big commitment to do this. So when we get uh, emails and people commenting on social media and then calling in, it really encourages us to keep this going. And we heard from an old friend uh, from many years ago, Frank Spear. And Frank called in. So, Alex, why don't you cue that up and, and play that for our listeners? Hey, guys, it's Frank Spear. How you doing, man? Been listening to the broadcast. It's great. My wife and I, Lisa, love it. And uh, our kids told us about it. So we just drove down to the beach. Uh, we're living here in Florida. I thought a good topic would be to talk about how you eat your slice of pizza. Do you fold it? You know, do you put one slice on top of the other? Do you just eat it flat? How do you eat your slice? Let me know, man. I'm looking forward to hearing from the show, uh, hearing about you guys talk about it on the show. Take care of yourselves, man. God bless. Well, that was a really good call from Frank. It's good to hear his voice. <laughs> I uh, definitely remember having some good times with uh, Frank and, and Lisa from back in the day. They used to go to our church. Well, now, and so we used to go to church with Frank and Lisa, but now there's another relation there. Well, no? the relationship is that our kids, as you know, are going to Liberty. LU, baby. And that's right, LU, another plug. Ding, ding. And my daughter Ashley, her roommate, Nicole Martin, her parents... Denise and Scott Martin, by the way, big the Jersey Boy fans. Of course. And they are related. Denise is related through marriage to Frank. Unbelievable. From what I understand. Right. So right. that's the connection. So our kids, of course, promoting the Jersey Boys down at Liberty. And Nicole got her parents, Denise and Scott, to listen. And then... I guess, I think Frank's kids, Lisa's kids, found out about it through Nicole, and right. and they started listening to the show, and, and that's how this call came in. So And a great question, though. No? It is a great question. And by the way, first of all, Frank, Lisa, thank you so much, and Frank, thanks for the call. And to answer your question, uh, yeah, no, no, no... Stacking. No stacking. What is this? A what, what is it? No, yeah, because remember, it's thin crust, not Frank. Chicago if anybody's style. stacking pizza in Florida, you smack them in the back of the head. Yeah, what is one, that? Take, actually, smack them with one of the slices. Yeah. Say, now you lose one. Because that, that, you know, you get that thick, <laughs> thick pizza. No, that, we're not doing that. This is not a quiche or a casserole. <laughs> Come on. We don't do that. Come on. So you take that pizza and you take that slice and you fold it. And in the neighborhood, they call it Libro Book because it looks like you're holding a book mm -hmm. and you're walking around, you take that pizza and you fold it. And that's how you eat it. No knives, no forks. Oh, we here. don't cut it, Joe? No. With a fork and a oh, knife? Give me a break. <laughs> None of that. I love getting them jacked no up. No way. And, and listen, we're going to do in 2018, we're going to do like several shows. We got some good plans. Pizza good, good ones. You know me, I'm a pizza connoisseur and I love pizza and we're going to go on the road and we're going to go all the best places, New Jersey, New York, and we're going to go and test all A little bit of Connecticut out. too, no, oh, you yeah, said, right? Yeah. Fairfield County, Connecticut mm -hmm. has some good pizza as well. So we're going to stay in that tri-state area and we're going to go around and we're going to, we're going to have to plan this out for our carb night. I got a good idea. <laughs> hey, I got a good idea. So everybody listening right now, um, Everybody's got a favorite place, right? Yeah. L let's start. Let's start collecting the tallies. Start thinking of who about they it are, now, right? right? And commenting now, so we have some places to go in the new year. But I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to be, you know, I lost a lot of weight. You lost weight, Alex. You know, he's lost weight. We're going to gain some weight back it's in okay. 2018 no, because right. we're going to be eating so much pizza. <laughs> It'll be worth it. Absolutely. It'll be night. But seriously, everybody, if you got a favorite place, same thing, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. And, and honestly, if you know of something else that's amazing and it's somewhere near the tri-state area, we're willing to drive for it. Send us a message on Facebook. Email us. Whatever it is, call into the show. Tell us, where do you think the best pizza is because we'll add it to the list for yeah. sure no doubt about it so uh let's get into the show now joe a little bit today so you know a lot of people look at us jersey people not just jersey guys right as we heard uh from uh well uh nah, whatever i'm gonna go on another one. rabbit trail there but I'm, I'm i'm gonna steer myself back here so a lot of people look at us as the you know you, you got a tough facade yeah. in jersey persona, right the persona the persona is that we tell we got a chip on our shoulder but you know joe 
It's it's not always like uh, you know the the persona is tough, but we don't actually have a soft heart. We care. About we, do. we do. But listen, it, it goes even to the cartoon characters or the guys on TV. You know, when they have like the tough guy, they always have like that New York, New Jersey accent, and they're coming across like they're really tough, and that's that's like the the image. But we know because we live here that we have big hearts. Right. So you don't want to cross us. But when you uh, need a helping hand, you know, there's no one better than the people that live in this area. And so I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to give a little shout out to you right now. When I explain to people about our relationship as we're more like brothers than we are friends, right? So I'm going to start crying. He might a little bit. We'll see. <laughs> I'm getting I'll, I'll, I'll here. play a little tune for that, will you? So let me see. I'm, I'm, what am I, 43. So we're friends now for 25 years. I think I was 18 when we met. Maybe 17. Right? No, I know I was Close. 18. Yeah, just, maybe just turned 18. I think I 18. just turned 18. Yeah. So, so we're friends 25 years now. Yep. When I explain who Joe Silva is to people, this is exactly what I say. If it's 3 o'clock in the morning and I needed help moving that dresser over there, I know I could call you. What if it was 315? Mm, I'm calling you. <laughs> <laughs> But that's who he is, honestly. So that's who he is, right? That's well, how I explain who you are because you. you got that heart and you would do it. But that's my point is even something like that, you, you're you there to help people, yeah. bro. You love people. You want to help them. Again, don't cross you because I've seen that oh, side of yeah. you come out too. But the bottom line is you got a good heart. You're always there to help people. And I think that's a lot of what Jersey is. Yeah. Uh, a la 2001. Yeah, 2001, you know, we, we all experience it in this area, you know, with uh, September 11th and the tragedy of, of that day. And, you know, those of us living in this area, New York, New Jersey, you know, Connecticut, even Pennsylvania, people that commute into the city, just what we experienced that day. And you saw the best of what we are in this area on that day because people came out uh, and, and, and made sacrifices, you know, bringing people into their homes, putting people up, uh, just the love that was in the area so this this tough persona it, the, this toughness came out in another way right you know right. it came out through just the firefighters and the police and in the volunteers that went down to the pile and first you know responders. the first responders you know not running away but running towards and helping so many people so you know th that that's what's really you know um what i love about living in this area too i mean we have so many great things that we love about this area the food and the sports and everything else but when it comes to the people, you you there's, you can't replace people from this area. You can't. There's just a, there's just this this positive persona that you carry this this way about you. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Again, there's that chip, but it, that chip is not always a bad thing. Right. It's not. Well, so. it, it's 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 you you have like a, a swagger, but not like not a cockiness. Swag. I like the swag. You know, not a cockiness. Yeah. There's confidence. some cocky guys, but confidence. the confidence. Big it's the confidence. The How you carry yourself, and you know. That's who you want to be with. Like when you're in a foxhole with somebody, you want, you know, I, I want to be with somebody who has that that confidence and, you know, just maybe it's the street smarts too, mm -hmm. you know, street smarts. Mm -hmm. I mean, sure. you could have somebody who is really smart book wise and they can read like they, they sound like they're like reading from an encyclopedia, but I'd rather be with the guy who has street smarts. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Different people for different situations. Yeah. Right. So, you know, look, that kind of brings and by us the way, just real quick. Yeah. Well, you said about me, I feel the same way about you. Thanks, so. brother. All right? Thanks, brother. And Alex, too. My boy. <laughs> yeah, when I'm in a foxhole with Alex, and you start talking about before we said, right, about that, you know, like the confidence and who yeah. you want with you, but I only want him talking Spanish then. Because I, I, he changes, <laughs> right? He changes when he, when he starts to, you know, trill the R's and everything. Well, that, well, it well, comes out. <laughs> we, we already mentioned this once before. Remember we mentioned this on episode, I don't know, two maybe? Like when you have the Spanish newscasters, they speak like this perfect English, but then when they say like a Spanish... Spanish word, or they say their name, <laughs> all of a sudden it sounds completely, yeah, what is it? What's the, what's the TV show? Nicaragua. Telemundo. Yeah, Telemundo. I love you it, know? It's like, just like, why? why? That one favorite. word, just say it, you know. Hey, it's, it's got to come out, it's color, I like it. Yeah. So, like, you know, we got uh, we got the, the holidays upon us, right? And mm. so, you know, for, uh, for the Christmas season, a lot of people want to do a lot of good things. You know, your heart starts to get a little warm, you see things happen. Happening. And there's a lot of different things out there. You know, we've uh, we walk in and out of the churches, and we see 
Operation Christmas Child, Samaritan's Purse. These are boxes that you fill up with, you know, all kinds of necessities, and it goes to those who, uh, you know, are a lot uh, more Salvation needy Army. than us. Salvation Army. Uh, Operation Care Package for the Soldiers, which yep. is amazing. They send that stuff overseas. So we got a special guest with us tonight who is a little girl who just suddenly it came upon her the need to help the homeless. And so we're going to bring her on with us right now. This is my niece. So I'm very proud of this, obviously. This is my niece, Antonella. All right. So now we've got our special guest with us on the show. Hey, Antonella. Hi, Uncle Ronnie. How you doing, honey? Good. Yeah, good deal. So we heard that you uh, you want to do something special this year for Christmas. Is that right? Yes. All right, so before we tell everybody what it is that you want to do, I want you to tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell everybody your name, uh, where do you live, how old are you, and then we'll go into what it is that you want to do. So go ahead, tell everybody what's your name, how old are you, and where do you live? My name is Anthony Alvangarelli. I'm 10 years old, and I live in Pennsylvania. All right. All right. Now, well, Wait a minute, though, go ahead, Antonella. Joe. Where are you from originally? You're not from Pennsylvania originally. Where are you from originally? I'm a New Jersey transplant. That's right. So you're a Jersey girl. You're a Jersey girl living in Pennsylvania, but always a Jersey girl at heart. That's right. That's right. So tell us, Antonella, what is it that you are going to be doing that we want to share with everybody? Um, what's the special, special gift you want to give back? What is it that you want to do? Help homeless families. And how do you want to help these hopeless, uh, homeless families? By gathering up donations and then putting them into bags and handing them out to shelters and to homeless people in wow. New York City. Wow, that is really, really very special. And what made you want to do this? Why did you decide that you, you know, did you just come home and tell mommy, mommy, I just want to collect stuff or did something happen? Well, um, about a year ago on Christmas, I was watching YouTube and um, I watched this video and th this family um, buys Christmas for another family that can't afford it. Okay, so they do it for one family. Mm-hmm. But you don't want to do it for just one person, do you? No, I wanted to do it for every. As many. Yeah, and that and that's really something that's super duper, you know. I love it. And uh, we saw, we saw that on Facebook. Your mom posted it on Facebook, and we were so touched by what you want to do that we're gonna put it out to all of our listeners, and, and we're gonna do the best we can to try to get as much uh, notice out there to everybody, so they can give a lot, and we can help you with what you want to do this Christmas to help the homeless. So we're very proud of what you're doing, and we think it's great, and we want to support your uh, your mission of what you're doing, and we think it's great. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And now you got to promise the Jersey Boys one special thing, okay? When you guys mm -hmm. are doing all this, when you're collecting the stuff and when you're going out and you're giving it to the homeless, you got to tell Mommy she's got to take a lot of pictures so that when you can send them back to us, and then we want to be able to put it on our website and on our Facebook page. We want to make sure that everybody knows what Antonella did this year. Okay. Sound good? That's a deal, right? All right. So we're going to put it out. We're going to help collect stuff. And uh, we want to help you help other can people. Can I tell them the drop-off areas? I love it. Go ahead. Wow, tell everybody. This, this kid's ready. Tell them, Antonella. What are the drop-off areas? New Jersey. Where in New Jersey? The whole state? They could put it anywhere? Well, by all of your okay. offices. By uh, Uncle Ronnie's offices, and I'll make sure that I tell them where that is. Where else? Yeah. Where else? 
We don't know the addresses. I'll tell them that. I'll, I promise. Yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to tell everybody the addresses. We're going to get all that information out there. So where else? Anywhere else, or just just in New Jersey? Is there other places they could drop it off? Yeah, Uncle Ronnie's garage. Uncle <laughs> Ronnie. <laughs> That's nowhere to lie. Actually, we, there's, there's a bin outside. <laughs> of the yeah, side exactly. Door. Where else, Antonella? Are you guys accepting uh, donations in Pennsylvania, where you live? No. You're not. Okay, so mommy's taking care of that on her side of things, right? Yes. Okay, what about your school? Is your school getting involved, or do they not know what you're doing? They don't know what I'm doing. All right, yeah. all right, that's okay. Well, they will now, because we're going to get the word out to a lot of people, and we think we're going to get a lot of people who are going to help you, because they're going to see what we see, which is you doing some great things, especially around the holidays. There's a lot of kids and people out there who don't have a lot. So what you're doing is just a tremendous you know, um, act of kindness, so, you know, you're a really uh, smart, special girl. And I, I, I was really touched by what I saw on Facebook. And uh, I know that the Jersey boys are here to support you. And we thank you for what you're doing. And we love you, honey. Thank you. All right. We'll see you later, okay? Mm-hmm. All right. Bye, hon. Bye. Bye, Uncle Ronnie. Bye, sweetie. All right. So now... That we heard from the little princess. Why don't we hear from the queen? <laughs> there you go. What do you think, Joe? I, I'm all for that. All right. Looking so forward to this. Now I want to hear from uh, Antonella's mother, my sister, Nikki. What up, Nick? Hey, what's up? How you doing, Nikki? Good. What's going on, Joe? Just doing our thing here. The Jersey <laughs> Boys. The Jersey Boys. You're listening to Love us it. out there in PA, right? Oh, I can't wait for it. Yeah, but come on Every now. Every week. Just like we said to Antonella, right? Out in PA, but a Jersey girl is always a Jersey girl. Always. That's and it. people know it from That's here. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we guarantee it. <laughs> <laughs> Jersey taking over PA. You know it, man. <laughs> hey, Nick, seriously. Uh, yeah. How, how proud are you? Of what Antonella decided to do. Because she decided to do this on her own, no? She did, actually. We were um, out on a Saturday when she came to me and said this. I literally was crying in the store. Mm. <laughs> you know, awesome. it, was, it, was, it was overwhelming. It was, it was just a really awesome, like, parent win moment. Yeah. Well, what did Prou- she do? A proud moment. Yeah. yeah. What she yeah, did, she, just, it really she was. just came up to you and said, Mom, uh, blah, blah, blah. She just opened right up with she, it? Or? Well, what we do, like, in our house is we like to do it, – it never works out to four gifts, but we, we, we try to do um, something you want, something you need, something you wear, something you read. These are all Christmas gifts. And then I like to do something that you would want to donate, whether it's – um, food, time, you know, like clothing that. or whatever. So she came to me this year and said, you know, I really want to help the homeless. Mm. I think it was a really cold Saturday, like, you know, a couple of weeks ago we were out and I guess just feeling the wind and the cold and, you know, I guess at this age she's starting to realize, you know, how blessed she is and, and yeah. grateful for what she has. That is so cool. You mean, yeah. you know, we, we want for nothing, right? I mean, we right. have exactly. everything we need. And she recognized exactly. that, which is great. Yeah. Nick, this sounds... She so did. the four gifts, something you want, something yeah. you need, something you wear, something you read, and then something you donate. Mm-hmm. So essentially, you're talking right. like five gifts. It, that sounds exactly the way you and me grew up, right? <laughs> 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 Let's get your mom back on. Dude, seriously. <laughs> yeah. when, when we look oh back on God. it, how spoiled were we on Christmas morning? It's oh my insane. God. Hey, Ron, how about, how about the other room? Oh, always, always. <laughs> when you like, went into yeah. the other room. <laughs> when you were like, oh, you just sick. got done opening up gifts. You, had to, you needed a ladder to get to the top of the pile. Right? You opened up everything, and there was always, like, the surprise. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's how it was for us. And when, um, when Marianne first came up from Virginia, she couldn't believe it. The first time she spent Christmas with us, yeah. she was like, oh, my goodness. I said, well, this keeps on going until, like, 10 o'clock tonight. <laughs> it's <That's> sick. It. <laughs> you know? 
<laughs> but that's what I like about what Nikki's doing with her kids. You know what I mean? Because, and we're trying to do the same thing here to say, look, we've got, we've allowed ourselves, right? An American culture. We've allowed ourselves to just kind of take away from like the real true yeah. meaning of Christmas. And we've turned it into nothing but, you know, tearing through gifts. And don't get me wrong. I'm not saying exactly. presents is a bad, I'm not saying that. Because right. especially with the little ones, right? Like it is so much fun. Like I love the mystique of Santa Claus. I love it. And you know, you don't ever want to see that go away with the kids. That's right. There is that. It, that's real. Don't yeah. we think I'm kidding, Alex? Santa Claus is my boy. There's no <laughs> doubt. He's the real deal. Saint Nick. Saint Nick, my sister. Which uh, ironically, excuse me. Uh, so it, my sister's it, name is Nikki, which is so weird. Nick, when's your <laughs> birthday? Oh, my birthday is Christmas. <laughs> no. All right, way. But, but wait a minute. But we got to ask this question here now. Did you get gypped because it was your birthday Ooh. and on Christmas? Like, so did you like lose out a little bit? Because what if your birthday would have been like a week earlier? Mm. Would you I'm have gotten sorry, more? Joe, how did you, Jay? How did you introduce me? Exactly, As the queen? Nick. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> so there it is. There it is. Nick, I'm so glad you did it because I'm sitting over here with a smirk on my face saying to myself, is he serious right <laughs> oh, now? No, listen. I I, I knew I that. Actually, I knew I that. But we gotta have, we gotta I educate our have, audience. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's no. My my eyebrows are like all like scrunched up. I'm saying, is he serious? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't hold back. She None. tells it as it is. Yeah, and she did not get oh. gypped. No, she I'm did sure not. not. No doubt about it. But um, so yeah, Nick, I, we just think it's so incredible. So we want to make sure that all of our listeners understand, you know, that they have an opportunity to help out. And what's really awesome is people want to help. But a lot of times they just don't yeah. know how. So yeah. that's what's awesome about this. This gives them an opportunity. Yep. So Nick, locations. Where are we? Uh, where are we going to tell everybody to drop things off? So you are going to give the addresses to even three of your offices. If if you know, I don't know how far out your fan base is. Oh, All over well. the world. But, um, <laughs> are we going to pick them up in Sydney, <laughs> Australia, or no? Right, the UK. That's, that's a little bit away. <laughs> So no, seriously, all please, kid decide, right? Ship, yes. Ship them in. Yeah, exactly. Through Amazon for free. Ship them in. We'll, all right. We'll meet you at the port. <laughs> <laughs> Down in Newark. Hey, well, we got Peter Carbone. Hey, Pete. That's what you, I'm saying. You're, you're listening out there in Australia. You got to send something over. Don't be afraid, Pete. All right. So the three locations that we are going to accept these donations for uh, for Antonella and helping out the homeless uh -huh. are one's in Jersey City, one's in Wyckoff, and one is in Butler. So uh, in that order, we have 142 Newark Ave in Jersey City. We have 1450 Route 23 North in Butler, and we have 360 Franklin Ave in Wyckoff. Yeah, and we'll have these on the uh, on the on the sites. So Absolutely, people can see it on the site too. Facebook and, and Twitter. You know, and that's stuff. that's what I was going to say, Joe. If if we could leave a list of what she's collecting. Well, I'll tell you so what, Nick. People know. Why don't you yeah. tell it? Why don't you tell everybody right now? And then we could also okay, post it that way. Go ahead. Tell everybody what it is that we're collecting. Okay. So she's collecting either men's or women's gloves. Any kind of like a scully, you know, skull cap. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you call it. I don't know the other name for it. Skull cap. Um, Cap. Yeah, Hats. like a guinea, like a guinea tea. <laughs> Whoa, how you doing? You know, it's funny. I got one on right now. Believe that? No. As crazy as really? it sounds. No. no. I'm wearing I one. I'm not to believe. I know. Yeah. How you doing? <laughs> how you doing? Um, I wear right, it in the shower. Gonna, okay. I do. I don't even take it off. <laughs> it's like a tattoo. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. We interrupt everybody. Go ahead. ADD. Go ahead. No, it's okay. It's like it's like our Christmas dinner. There's 32 conversations going on, and you're in every conversation. <laughs> Absolutely, and somehow, um, somehow, yeah. everybody understands it, right? Oh, totally. It's weird. Totally. All right. Know, skull caps. Skull right. caps. What else? We skull got? caps. Men's or women's gloves. Mm -hmm. Um, a package of throat lozenges. Okay. Uh, Ricola. Sorry, I had to do it. Go ahead. <laughs> Granola bars. Okay. Chapstick. Um, what else did she have in there? You have the, uh, what is that? Help me out. Crest. What is that? Oh, yes. It's those travel toothbrushes, yep. the ones that already have the toothpaste on them. They don't need, you know, just water. Mm, okay. Okay. Cool. 
And I, I think Bible. Blankets, a Bible. Blankets, I saw the Bible. Bible in there. We are actually supplying all the Bibles. Nice. Oh, I'm not nice. sure what would be coming, you know, in. Okay. So we're actually supplying all those. Um, nice. Also, people are actually giving, like, um, money. So we are buying McDonald's gift cards and fleece blankets with that. Nice. I love it. So, so let me say this. Um, if, yeah. if people wanted to send something in, I'm going to go over the addresses again, because if they wanted to send a yeah. gift card or something like that, I didn't give... Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't give zip codes or anything like that. So to take it from the top, if you want to send it to Jersey City, 142 Newark Ave, Jersey City, New Jersey, 07302. And by the way, all three of these locations are my Caldwell Banker offices. So um, make sure that you send it to Caldwell Banker, 142 Newark Ave, Jersey City, New Jersey, 07302. And please, please, please put attention Ron Iosa on these so that we know they know where to put it in the box. Uh, then again, you got 1450, 1450 Route 23 North, Butler, New Jersey, 07405, and 360 Franklin Ave, Wyckoff, New Jersey, 07481. So go ahead. If you want, if anybody's listening and you guys want to send just uh, the gift cards per se yeah. instead of a drop off, go ahead and send it there. That's fantastic and we're thankful for it. Nick, what day? Uh, uh, would we say is a cutoff date so everybody knows you're leaving, you're going out and about, you're going to be dispersing all this stuff. When's the last day they should be delivering it? So we are going to be making up actual bags, and those will be going out to the streets of New York City, and we will be doing that on December 2nd. Okay. All right, so... December but 2nd, is there going to be... December are, 2nd. Are you going to do another yeah, date we'll after be that? Delivering. Because this is the 27th. Yes. And we want to make sure... We okay. are. Okay. We are. So anything after that, we'll be delivering to... Um, it's called the Good Shepherd Shelter, and okay. that's in Pennsylvania. So we'll right. be doing that between December 2nd and probably the 23rd of Christmas. Okay, so you know we're gonna need a little bit of time for that. So I, I would venture to say by December fifteenth, definitely would be the last time. I think time, that's fair, right? Yeah. That gives you yeah, another week to, to package yep. it up and get it out there. And if they want to see it, their yep. stuff delivered to the streets, honestly, if they're hearing this, you know, get going, get, get it, it out done now, right away, get it yep. out right away. Thank you, thank you. We really appreciate it. Yep. Yeah. No, that's a great thing you guys are doing, Nick. We really appreciate you. I am incredibly proud of Antonella. Uh, as am me I. Too. As am I. When, when I saw that on Facebook, it really touched me. So it's awesome. Yeah, it was I good, know. Good stuff. I know. All right, Nick. We'll good talk chance. to you later. Yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you All right. All right. It. Talk to you. All right. Bye bye. Bye. Ciao. Wow, that was a great call. You know. Um, when I saw uh, this on Facebook, uh, Nikki had posted this, and I know you and I spoke about it, Ronnie. I'm like, yeah. this is something we got to do, and uh, yeah, you should be proud. I'm proud of yeah, you know what Antonella did, and to see a, a little girl like that step up and recognize just the importance of giving back, uh, it really touched my heart. So I'm glad that we had the both of them on to talk about uh, what we're going to be doing and we wanted right. to get behind this so I'm looking forward to that so it was really a great uh, great call it was man I hope a lot of people you know step up right yeah. now and please get step it, right? up and help out awesome stuff all right so now we are going to our first the Jersey Boys giveaway here it is folks first one so last week's show in episode eight we were at East Coast Athletics as we reminded everybody at the beginning of this show with Johnny VP Valenti. VP <laughs> so uh, what we're doing is we're gonna give away a $250 voucher awesome towards any qualifying package which most of the time for John is either going to be, it could be 10 sessions, it could be a three month, it could be a six month, whatever it's going to be. It's a $250 voucher towards any qualifying package at East Coast Athletics in Carlstadt. No, wait a minute. Can I win? Uh, I can't win this? Hold on. Let me go to my producer. Mr. Producer? Uh, Come on. Hey. uh, I believe if I remember, there was a disclaimer. Remember when I changed my voice and you didn't like it? Put my name in there. Uh, I'm I'm going to be uh, Dan Mitchell. Danny Zuko. (laughs) Danny Zuko. Yeah, from Greece. There you go. So, yeah, no. 
You cannot ah, win. Ah, I cannot geez. win. The producer, uh, unfortunately, you cannot win. Oh. And I know you were digging that place. I was digging that place, right? But yeah. maybe we can sneak in sometime. But here's maybe, who's gonna maybe win. Maybe Johnny will let us in sometime. Here's what, yeah, with a little cash. There you go. Here's who's gonna win. All right. So the first person to email us, remember the email address is info at thejerseyboys.com. That's info at D like David, D A jerseyboys.com. The first person to answer the correct answer to the following question, which is what were the three high schools represented by the student athletes that we interviewed? On last week's show. All right. So time stamped. It's a, it's an email, right? So the first one that comes in is going to be the winner. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll post this on our Great Facebook giveaway. page. It is. It's awesome. Yeah. Think about that, man. You know, I don't know how much the packages are for John. He's got all, all different kinds. Yeah. But, hey, man, if I, it's, it, I'm handing you $250. Absolutely. It's a great reason to get off that couch and start your workout, right? Yeah. I love it. I love it. So another great show. Let's talk about Joe next week's Wow. <laughs> What do you want to do? Next week's wow. You want me to spell oh. it? You want to spell it? What are you, sleeping? I'm sorry. I'm out. It's getting late. Joe's sleeping. No, because you were going to spell it. I don't even have it in front oh, of you. Want me to spell? I'll spell it. But, Joe, what are we doing this for this week? Who are we calling out? Who are we helping out this week? We're helping out all of our Greek friends out there. Come on. The Malakas. Chris Kofitsis, Peter Kofitsis, Tom Maharis, Paul Pradakis. we got so many Greek friends. Chris Miliotis hey, down listen, in Georgia now. A, a, let me, Ancestry.com. Ancestry.com. There's, I you, got even a little Greek in me. You got a me. little Greek in you. Come yeah. on. I got, listen, my buddy Mark Demetrio. If you're not listening, now you are. All right? So... This is one of one of our Greek friends. So, again, I'm going to spell it out right now. It's very, very simple. G-Y-R-O. That's all there is to it. And yet we destroy it most of yeah, the time we're not here. not saying it right. No, but the Greeks, they know how to say it. So next week. So we'll, not uh, just we'll the diners, them. right? <laughs> no. No. They have a lot more than just the diners, right? They do. They got a lot more than yeah. the diners. I tell you, the Greeks are some hardworking good food. people, man. They got great food. I'm they do. You. This one right here. This, this is one of my favorites. Yeah. I love this, man. Done right? Woo! Yeah. Love it. Another great show, guys. This is the closeout to episode nine of The Jersey Boys. I'm Ronnie A. And Joey the Rash. I'm out. Ciao.